Lights burn late at the White House, but the outcome of the Cuban crisis remains very much in the dark. Following Premier Castro's rejection of UN inspections, White House Press Secretary Pierre Salinger announces resumption of the naval blockade and of aerial surveillance of the missile sites. They'd been suspended until UN Acting Secretary General Lou Thant returned from his talks with the Cuban dictator. Unofficial reports were that Castro was adamant in his five demands on the United States and highly resentful of Soviet Premier Khrushchev's having reached an agreement with President Kennedy without consulting him. Wu Thant, however, is a little more sanguine about the results of his mission to Havana. During my stay in Havana, I was reliably informed that the dismantling of the missiles and their installations was already in progress and that this process should be completed by Friday, that is, day after tomorrow. Thereafter, there would come their shipment and return to the Soviet Union, arrangements for which are understood to be in hand. Practically on the heels of Uthant's return, a plane from Moscow arrives at New York with a top Soviet troubleshooter on his way to Cuba. Anastas Mikoyan is to confer with the Secretary General before dining with U.S. officials when a new Russian proposal for Red Cross instead of U.N. inspection teams wins favorable consideration. <laughs> 